Hi, I'm Diego Paris, an Imagineer with the Walt Disney Company. Disney parks are lands filled with much fantasy and magic. It's no wonder that many unique and interesting stories about the history of the parks live just beneath the surface. But beyond the magic lies a world of rich mythology. Now, for the first time, a program will be going behind the shroud of secrecy of Walt Disney Imagineering to help separate fact from fiction. There is a rumor that Cinderella Castle in Walt Disney World is able to sink into the ground in case of a hurricane. Another story that I've heard about the Magic Kingdom in Florida is that it's built on top of an underground city. I've heard that the real Disney World is underneath. No, no. It, is it? On this episode of Disney's Fact or Fiction, we'll discover the truth behind a famous Disney legend, the existence of the Magic Kingdom tunnels, and the mysterious world that may exist below the magic. Uh, maybe there's miners down there looking for gold. All the Christmas decorations, <laughs> they gotta put them somewhere. You see, legend has it that beneath the Magic Kingdom and beneath this very street, is an entire underground city. Disney's fact or fiction? Let's find out. We have thousands of cast members serving tens of thousands of guests in seven distinctly themed lands, all happening within the Magic Kingdom. So, how does it all work? It must take more than a little Disney magic to keep this theme park running like clockwork every single day of the year. We ask Walt Disney Imagineers to help us dig a little deeper. My name is Gary Landrum and I'm a Imagineer for the Walt Disney Company. We are here in our master planning area. This is where we map out all the future development for theme parks and resorts around the world. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that people think already exists, the legendary tunnels of the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Well, there's a pretty famous story about when Walt was in Disneyland and he saw a cast member, a cowboy, moving from Tomorrowland to his post in Frontierland. And for Disneyland, the facts are the facility for our wardrobe department is behind Tomorrowland, but we didn't have enough land to create enough access for all the different themed environments in the park for cast members to access too. Walt built Disneyland back in the 50s, and so Disneyland was very confined. Once they built the surrounding facilities to the park, they were pretty limited. It was difficult to gain access into the park. Here in Florida, we have something special we never enjoyed at Disneyland. A blessing of size. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and plans we could possibly imagine. And the whole area encompasses 27,400 acres. That is 43 square miles, twice the size of the island of Manhattan. So is it possible that a team of Disney designers devised a way to go beneath the surface of the most magical place on Earth? Well, this door will take us behind the scenes at the Magic Kingdom. Let's take a look. Maybe they're Surprise. building a new park down there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like we might finally be on our way to finding some answers. This stairway, like many others around the park, really does lead to an underground network of corridors that winds through the entire park and houses the tools to bring the Magic Kingdom to life. First of all, you know, there's the big legend that the Magic Kingdom is built on uh, a subterranean city underneath it. And that's almost right, because at that time we built utilidors that allow our employees to get anywhere in the park without having to go up and be seen on stage. While the guests enjoy their day in the park up above, the utilidors house the high-tech systems to help create the magic. When we came to Walt Disney World and with the creation of the Magic Kingdom, we actually built a series of utility corridors, better known as utilidors. And one of the things the utilidor system does for us is allow cast members to come up in an appropriate costume in an appropriate themed area. Color-coded walls guide cast members as they travel beneath the streets of the themed areas above. So, with these tunnels in place, you'll never see a cowboy from Frontierland strut through Tomorrowland. 
The tunnel's known to insiders as Utilidors house everything from offices to wardrobe to cafeterias. There are even places for cast members to cash a check, shop, or even get a haircut. The tunnels are also home to the Digital Animation Control System, or DAX. Here, rows of computers control the millions of movements that bring to life attractions, shows, and parades every day. This room is called Engineering Central, and sometimes referred to as DAX, D-A-C-S, for Digital Animation Control Systems. This is pretty much correctly identified as the nerve center for the Magic Kingdom. DAX can execute up to 72,000 individual functions each second, controlling everything from background music to light levels to in-park announcements. In the 1968-70 time frame when Walt Disney World was on the drawing boards, audio tape technology was pretty much all there was. The equipment that you're about to see here is a um, second generation magnetic tape system that was originally used, this particular unit was originally used for what we call the Bear Band or the Country Bear Jamboree show, which uh, is still in operation. This is a piece of legacy equipment that was used to program the original animation. This is how they were programmed in the early days. Even though we're in the tunnel, which is the lower level of the Magic Kingdom, there's even a lower level than that. If we were to remove the tiles uh, of the floor where we're standing, uh, you would see miles and miles of huge cables. Because the audio originates here and because the animation originates here, we have to have a means to transport that information to the destination attraction. So, we've uncovered a Disney fact. There are indeed a series of tunnels running underneath the streets of the Magic Kingdom. But the real secret is that these underground tunnels really aren't underground at all. The Florida landscape didn't really allow us to do a concept of sort of the tunnels that you may have heard about. At about two feet, you can hit groundwater level. When we excavated the Seven Seas Lagoon, which was about 8 million cubic yards of earth, we used that to landscape over the first floor utilidor system, building the Magic Kingdom on literally the second and third floor of the park. So when you walk down Main Street USA, you may feel like you're at ground level, but really you're about 15 feet above ground level on the second and third floors of the park. The next time you visit the Magic Kingdom and walk up that gentle rise towards Main Street, remember that you'll be spending the day on the second floor with the bustling city beneath your feet. For Disney's Fact or Fiction, I'm Diego Paris. See you next time. Even more dreams will come true during the 2008 Disney Dreams Giveaway. Like an overnight stay in the Cinderella Castle, magical dream fast passes, and other surprises. Becoming the Grand Marshal in Disney parades around the globe. And for the first time, an overnight in the park stay in the Disneyland Dream Suite. It all starts January as part of the year of a million dreams at the place where dreams come true. Visit DisneyParks.com.